First of all, I would like to thank Christine for giving me this opportunity to share with you one of the uh, major risks involved any civil engineering development in the world. It's not just in uh, GBA, the area. And just to uh, remind ourselves what we're talking about here today. So those are the uh, nine cities okay, we call Greater Bay Area. Uh, Hong Kong is on the uh, bottom right there. Now, in order to bring the, uh, I would say the standard in terms of infrastructure uh, to sort of Hong Kong standard, I'm sure you all agree with me, there's a lot of infrastructure need to be developed, okay, over the next couple of years. So, and following on, and uh, uh, Professor Lau's uh, presentation, and this is rainfall data taken uh, from Shenzhen, okay, and their rainfall intensity and duration and amounts is very, relatively comparable to Hong Kong. So what does that mean to you? Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is in Korea first. Especially for insurers, I think you just take this into account. This in Taiwan, not far away from here. Okay. Very recent, 2013. We don't know what happens, may widely uh, associated with climate change. This in Hong Kong. And perhaps you still remember 2008. The highway uh, go to the airport was blocked for 16 hours. Okay. And that's how they debris come down. And I won't be surprised you will see this. Of, of course, I don't want to see, but okay, it may well happen, especially in, in the northern part of a GBA at the area. That's not the end. Okay, you involve uh, infrastructures. You can see tunnels, uh, pavement subsidence, and so landslide. Actually, 2015 in, in Shenzhen, some of you still remember, killed a lot of people. And then various different risks, and Professor Lau, they mentioned about flooding. And, not, and this very reason, I just uh, so happened somebody sent to me, so I'd like to share with you. It's regarding tunnels. Okay, water gushing out from the tunnel face. Okay. People obviously run away. Okay, and in each time, I just quickly. Okay. And I just show you another one quickly. This is another angle due to the same problem. Okay, all cut you out from the tunnel. So those are the risks uh, involved in any development in the GBA GBA area. So for some of you, something for you to take home. As I said, risk geotechnical risk is not just in Asia, but everywhere in the world. So that's from. A, at the Institution of Civil Engineers, ICE. If you read it, several studies have been published over the last 30 years. To clear demonstrate, civil engineering project, the largest element of financial and technical risk usually lies in the ground. Okay, we don't know what they're doing in the ground. Okay, <laughs> only God knows. Okay, and that's a good thing for the contractor typically to claim decline, so-called unforeseeable ground conditions. Oh, it's, a, it's a very common. They, that's where they make profits. I'm, I'm sure the gentleman is laughing. Okay. You can see 60% increase. Okay. Another way, again, this is another study. The last one, ground risk also. If you read the bottom here, additional costs can up to 100%. Okay. Purely due to the ground. Okay. So that's all I will share with you. And I hope I've used some of five minutes. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Thank you. That, that was enough to, to, to really bring this to a great clarity. Yes, yes, please.